We are here today at the major thrift. So I came last night and I'm not gonna lie, it was a bust. I left empty handed and that never happens. But they looked like they were clearing the shelves out of some old stuff. Hopefully they restocked overnight. I don't know if that's a thing or not, but today's also Sunday, so it's 20% off. I saw a couple things I liked yesterday. We'll revisit those at least if there isn't new stuff and see if it's going to be worth buying at the 20% off. New inventory before it gets placed on the shelves always sits in the totes here in the front of the store. I'm glad I looked through them again. I found a bunch of birds, well, three birds, but <laughs> really good birds. These two smaller ones at $7.99 each, they were a little high, but I did get the 20% off. So I went ahead and put them in my cart. I really liked the way all of the glass clocks looked grouped together. I have a little collection of brass clocks already. Um, but what do y'all think about these glass ones? Is it something maybe I should start picking up? This little candelabra lady was pretty cute. And I thought about this brown teapot. I have been adding a ton of black and brown decor into my kitchen, but I went ahead and passed. I wasn't crazy about the shape of it. I did like the color though. Thrift tip for ya. Grab these little cheap glass dishes to mix up milk paint. Container almost reminded me of a salt box, but there was no hole to hang it on the wall um, and no markings. I went ahead and left it behind at six dollars. These teapots were overpriced, but this one, especially originally fifty dollars at Hobby Lobby, marked down to twenty at the thrift store, still overpriced. There was a couple of cute little floral items here. Um, I almost grabbed a couple, and then I just decided they looked a little too cheap for me. This acorn wreath was kind of cute. Um, $8 on it. It would have been 20% off, but the acorns were just not quite the right colors, so I left it. And this almost came home for a paint job, but then I noticed the top of the pot was kind of like dented and smashed in right there, so it went back as well. The wood section was quite a miss today. This shelf was interesting, definitely handmade. I wondered what the hole in it was for, um, but I put it back. It needed a lot of work. These jump ropes back in the little fitness section caught my eye. They're definitely older. They've got the wood handles that could be repurposed into something. And then the jump rope itself was just old and had a great patina. I was looking at this tray. It is wooden. It's all wrapped up. It's got a little travel bag looking thing in the middle, a brush, and then this looks like a light switch on the right side. What is this? If you know, drop me a comment. As I was setting it back down and stepping back, I actually stepped on a wallet <laughs> and um, ended up taking that back up to the front of the store. Hey dear, I just stepped on this wallet back in the furniture section. <laughs> So I figured I'd turn it in. There is an ID in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> figured somebody's gonna come looking. Back to shopping in the back of the store where I was. Back in the furniture, they always have some cool bed frames. This metal one was a to die for. If I was looking for a bed frame for myself, that would be a contender. Here was a chest with a lid. The hinge on it, as you can see, was pretty beat up and it was not closing very easily. <laughs> so definitely did not pick it up. I really don't need any more furniture pieces, but I always check because look, I saw this box just sitting there. It said legs for shelves. And I was thinking, okay, it's a piece of furniture, but then I noticed the $9.99 sticker on it. So it was priced for just these wooden pieces. Look at all of these beautiful legs, plus there's four knobs, four little finials. What kind of projects do y'all think I should make with this? Not a ton of finds at the major thrift today, but 20% off, a cute little haul, I will take it. Now we are heading over to Charlie's Thrift Venture. They have given me 25% off because I'm always shouting them out on my channel, but honestly, they are my favorite store here in town to shop at. I always find some fun things. We started off today with some wooden salt and pepper shakers and a cute little bunny. 
of course those went in my cart now i've been finding a lot of brass candle snuffers but check this one out it's silver and it is stamped england so i'm definitely going to be doing some research on that fun piece This was an interesting little soup tureen with bowls and a ladle. I thought it was enamel at first, but it was just a splattered ceramic. If it was enamel, it would have come home with me. That would have been a pain in the tush to ship though. <laughs> I did find another blue enamel pitcher that came home with me and this adorable cast iron pot um, with a griddle bottom and a lid, wooden handle, and he only charged me $4.99 for that. I scored with a couple of sets of these metal measuring cups. They sell really well for me and one set there has a great patina. I was struggling with one hand. Y'all, I think I'm going to need to invest into some kind of phone holder that attaches to me. These cute little sconces went in my cart at first, but I ended up finding some other great things and put them back at the end. They were just very small for a makeover. This ginormous, beautiful basket definitely came home with me. There was a whole shelf full of skeleton bats and spiders, kind of creepy. If it was closer to Halloween, might have thought about it, but I left them. I did, however, find this box, opened it up, and score some beautiful home interiors hummingbirds. The mini stool on top of the stool caught my attention, and honestly, this white distressed stool was really cute. It would look great with some farmhouse decor. I didn't have room for it. What a beautiful old sewing machine. And then I turned around and I spotted it, y'all. The find of the week. I saw this metal industrial cabinet. I did not see a price on it. I went up front, $40, and I paid for it. I will be picking it up for myself this week. Found another pair of those adorable croc measuring cups, grabbed them up. There was only three in this set, but I got them anyway. And then this set caught my eye. There were no markings on it. I loved the shape of the salt shaker there, but there was no pepper, so it stayed behind as well. There were some really pretty frames in the pile today. I don't mess with a ton of pictures and art. That is something I want to start looking at more. So. I definitely will be keeping my eye out, even for my own home. I'm needing some more art on my walls. This beauty of a cabinet has been here for a while. I want to bring it home with me and give it a new life so bad. I don't have the room for it, but every time I'm here, I take a moment to stop and appreciate it and dream a little bit. I always head back to the tool section to check out wood and metal items for my industrial farmhouse decor, and today didn't disappoint either. I found some great old patinaed wood. This beautiful old umbrella base stayed behind, but these little casters definitely came home with me. They even had the fittings to go inside of your leg or piece of furniture that you're trying to attach them to. Let's give you guys a little peek here at my haul for the week. Now, this will be featured live on my channel, Upcycled by Brie, this weekend. Stay tuned for the exact time and date. If you are watching this video in the future, just know a lot of these items might have already sold, but I will drop a link down in the description box below to my Shop the Halls collection. That way you can see all of my latest finds and flips. I got some really great things, definitely a random assortment of items this week. Got some project pieces, this lamp. I've got some amazing ideas for some spring projects. It is going to be taken apart. Found these great enamel light covers at Charlie's, so I'm excited to see how well those will sell. Some fun project metal pieces. Here are these little cups. Paid 99 cents a piece for. 
Oh, here is this metal silver, <laughs> silver metal snuffer. Say that 10 times fast, but there's the England stamp. Haven't researched it yet, but I'm excited to see what I find. Don't usually find brass unicorns. That was a fun little find. Lots of small items. I'll probably go out one more time this week before my live haul um, and see if I can find some larger things. But maybe not. Maybe I will check in my garage stash as well. I'm still trying to declutter. Really love this mixed metal pitcher or container here, this pot. We've got brass and copper on that. I've got lots of comments about this bird already. Ended up paying $8 for it at 20% off, which was still, you know, kind of a lot. But there's already several people who want it, so... I splurged a little and then these birds are so cute. I kind of want to keep them. I don't do a lot of silver in my own decor though. And then this is metal and rusty. Gorgeous. How pretty is this going to be with some floral in it? So definitely a fun little start to this week's haul. Stay tuned. Make sure you're following me on all the social medias. Those links are down below as well to find out exactly when my haul will be this week. That way y'all can hop on and hang out and get your shop on. I hope y'all enjoyed today's A Shop With Me video. If so, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share this video out with a friend. If you haven't yet, subscribe and hit the notification bell to all so you don't miss any new videos. Till next time, I will see y'all later. Bye friends.